Hello and welcome to Business. Good to have you with us this hour. And we go straight to our top story. Russia could attract up to $30 billion of foreign investment in 2011. This can happen if all the companies taking part in the state privatization campaign hold an IPO this year. Now, to discuss the outlook for investment inflow into Russia, I'm joined by Kirill Dmitriev, CEO of Icon Equity Fund. Kirill, thanks very much for coming to Thank the program. So, how much foreign investment is Russia really likely to attract this year, from your point of view? I think 30 billion is a very realistic target, and I just came from a meeting in Davos, and BRIC countries are very much a focus of the investment targets, and Russia specifically because of the address of President Medvedev, that showed that there are very uh, many specific interesting investment opportunities in privatization program and beyond privatization program in Russia. And when, when we're talking about investment opportunities, what sectors are the most promising in the Russian economy, you think, for that foreign investment? I'll give you just three examples. Agriculture is a very interesting sector, and we know, we'll know what's happening to food prices in the world, and they're increasing dramatically, and Russia is one of the most dominant agricultural players. Infrastructure is definitely a great sector as well, where lots of infrastructure investment will be happening for the Olympic Games, for the World Champions uh, League uh, in Championship, uh, etc. And all investments related to middle class, which is growing very dramatically in Russia. So banks, uh, media, uh, lots of sectors where Russian population is growing have better purchasing power and can build very uh, successful investment stories. And from, from your point of view, do you think Moscow can ever become an international uh, financial center? There are major efforts uh, by Mr. Sabianin, the new mayor, to make this goal a reality. And again, it was very widely discussed in Davos what needs to happen. Uh, and already lots of companies are coming to Moscow to invest more. And the merger of two uh, big um, uh, 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 trading platforms that happened this week is also a big step forward. So I think definitely Moscow is moving forward in that direction. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm, yes. mm -hmm. And Russian finance minister says that the country needs about, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, 7 to 10 percent increase of foreign investment annually, like for the economy to grow, uh, more than 4 percent. What should be done uh, to promise this, apart from privatization? Well, I think just two things. First of all, to tell the world the Russian investment story. And First Deputy Mr. Shuvalov again was very active in Davos explaining many opportunities in Russia and I think Russia is becoming more open to outside investment and telling the story is very important. But secondly, what Mr. Medvedev announced as creation of Russian sovereign fund to attract foreign investment in Russia is very important. Mm -hmm. So it will be a co-investment platform for leading investors in the world to invest together with Russia, together with the Russian government and solve lots of the investment issues that they typically face in Russia. So that also is going to be a very important step for the investment in Russia. Do you think uh, strategic sectors will also be involved in this uh, investment program? Yes, definitely. So I think, you know, privatization, strategic sectors and sovereign fund as a gateway to invest in Russia are all very specific steps taken by the president and the government to attract investment into Russia. Okay, Kirill Dmitriev, uh, CEO of Icon Equity Fund, thanks very much, Thank you very much for joining in. And let's look at the market.